good morning to you. I mean, you know, a difficult, difficult situation for you at the moment. You're in the detention centre. What what do you currently face? What's what's the plan as you understand it? Uh, good morning, Britain. Uh, I face uh, deportation to Nigeria. That is the plan. That is what they. That is what their intentions are. Kelvin, let me ask you, uh, I, I got to know about your story because one of my sons actually goes to the gym that you work in. And, yeah, then I discovered I the, and then I discovered the entire boxing community has been rallying behind you. What I find extraordinary about this case is that this country thought it was perfectly OK for you to fight for us and to be a champion for us. In fact, you even fought against Nigeria. Uh, yeah. And now they want to deport you to a country, Nigeria, where you have no family and you have no status. That is true. I mean, I represented England about six times, and I've never lost when I represented them. And they, I even represent them against the country that they are trying to deport me to. And I have no idea how, I don't know how to go about this. Let's bring in Amir here. You're the manager coach at this, this gym. Um, You've known Kelvin a long time. Yeah. Just on the face of it, this just seems terrible. He's brought over here as a 14-year-old kid. And Illegally. 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 Yeah. And that has to be accepted from the start. Yes. But he's lived here for a, a very long time now. Mm. He was, you know, he, he had got into some rough stuff when he first came over, put himself on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From all I hear, a, a great guy now doing a lot of uh, good hard work and stuff. But it's this fact that he represented England. Yes that really gets to me, that, that somehow now the country that's proud to have him fight for us yeah. now wants to kick him out. Yeah, I mean, it's not only that as well. They, uh, Team GB, which took him on, I think, after he won the national championships mm. in 2012, um, they wanted a, a, him to train alongside Anthony Joshua, mm. Um, mm. Luke Campbell, all those guys to come in and uh, box the lines alongside them and represent Great Britain. And GB actually wrote to the Home Office uh, and it's documented to basically say to them, look, we believe this kid has got all the talent in the world. Mm. We believe he'll win gold, and we want, we want him to represent Great Britain. Um, do, do, you feel, do you feel... Sorry, just to ask what, Amir. Do you feel that the, all this debate about immigration mm -hmm. following the EU referendum, do you think all this is playing into mm. this kind of crackdown and it's maybe catching the wrong type of people? Yeah, I mean... Like you said, you have to consider the fact that he was brought in at the age of 14. I think this is what is extraordinary mm. for, yeah. for many people. Because whatever you think about illegal immigration, yes. a child of 14 exactly. has pretty much no say exactly. over who, exactly. who takes them where. And yeah. if he is brought in by someone he thinks of as an uncle... Yeah. Um, and On the basis that his dad was here. Yeah. Right. And yeah. he's then at 29 told yes. he has to go to somewhere that he no longer considers home, home. Yeah. back to Nigeria, where he doesn't know anybody, doesn't have any That's existing right. family. Yeah. It seems extraordinary to be holding a 29-year-old accountable for something that happened to him as a child. Yeah. And the thing is, from the age of 18, he hasn't been allowed to work, even though he ha had a, a national mm. insurance card. He's not allowed to be uh, work. He's not allowed to have education or higher education. Mm. Um, none of these things he's been allowed to do since the age of 18. So they're asking to send him back to a country with no education as yeah. such, no work experience as such. And, uh, I mean, you're sending him back. You're, you're sending a dead man walking into a country let, that he doesn't know about. Let, Kelvin, um, have you been told yet when you may be sent back to Nigeria? Uh, I I haven't been told when I will be sent back. They are trying to procure uh, a travel document in Nigeria for me, and I specify to the Home Office that I have already applied for a Nigerian passport because I want to stop my life, and they are penalizing me for the ramifications of my past, and I keep telling them I went to the Nigerian embassy to get my Nigerian passport because they said I'm a Nigerian. The Nigerian turned around and told me that I am not a Nigerian. It's like a person walking to an American embassy and saying he's an American. So they you have no record of me. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is the other thing, isn't it? I think you've been told that your mother was actually from Benin. Your dad was yeah. Lebanese. So you're facing going back to a country you're not even sure you have a connection with? I have no connection there. I don't even know anything about that country anymore. I, mm. Because I was a minor when I was there. Mm. Now I'm here 
I mean, a man turns into an adult when he turns from 18 to the age of 25. I, that, I spend all that time here, so I, I know nothing but here. No. Well, well I, mean, I mean, you know, Kelvin, you know, I don't think he's pretending, from what I can gather, that he's led a completely angelic life since no. he's been in this country. He was, yeah. You know, he got in with the wrong types of gangs and so on when he first came over. Understandably, he was put here. He thought he was going to be joining his father. None of this ever happened. And yep. he was you know, in a very tough life. But he's turned it around. And just very quickly, what kind of guy do you think he is? I mean, are we backing the wrong horse here? Or is he a good guy? Nah, he's, he's a very generous guy. Uh, he's, he gives his time to... I mean, all the kids in the gym have uh, experienced or, or taken from him um, great stuff, even though he's lived, unfortunately, quite a negative lifestyle mm. in terms of uh, what's happened to him. He's always been positive. He's always been strong. For him to go on and win a national championship and, and, and being offered the lottery ticket, which is promoters like Frank Warren right. offering him six-figure salaries mm. to stay in this country and work, so give something back to the country... Um, he's, he's literally stayed strong and done the best he could do to keep persevering and believing that, you know, he has done nothing wrong. He was brought here as a child um, and he shouldn't be persecuted for that.